Hi everyone and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be sharing how I remap keys on Windows 10. In order to remap keys on Windows 10, I use a very specific piece of open source software. It's called Auto Hotkey. Now you can download this piece of software at autohotkey.com and once you've finished downloading it, you can follow the installation process thereafter. Next, you can open up your notepad and this is where we're going to be writing our piece of code. Now some software knowledge and know-how can help here, but essentially, we have to follow the rules and the syntax that AutoHotKey will be able to understand, okay? So we have to refer to the keys in a way that AutoHotKey will be able to interpret. That's essentially it, okay? I've left a link here in the description. You can find all of the rules and guidelines um, if that's something you're interested in learning more about. So today I'm going to be sharing one very specific remapping that I use here on my computer, which I have in front of me. On Windows 10, when you press the Windows key and the Tab key, all of the programs that you have running at that moment in time open up and they can be viewed at once, okay, as you can see here on screen. This is quite useful when you've got, you know, six, seven, eight different programs open. You can just basically open up everything at once and see everything you're working on. Very useful and I use it quite a bit, okay. The one drawback to this is that it takes two key presses. Now I have just decided I'm going to bring this right down to a single key press. The key that I have decided to remap is the right control key. Now the left control key I use quite a bit when I'm performing keyboard shortcuts but the right control key and um, it's just far away there on the right and um, in my opinion it's a slightly redundant key and I'm probably um, not the only one that is going to say that it's just way off there um, and I just don't use it. The left control key is there. I use that a lot. The right control key just don't use it. So I'm actually going to get some use out of this key now by remapping it. So back here at our notepad we specify the key that we would like to remap. Now in our case that is the right control key. We follow this by two colons. Now this essentially signifies a remapping. After this, we specify what we would like this new key, it says it's going to be essentially a new key, what we would like this key to, um, to do, okay? So when we press the right control key, it will be as if we have pressed the Windows key, the tab key, released the tab key, and released the Windows key. Now you can use this piece of code here that I have written. I will leave a link here in the description. Um, you can use it, you're very welcome to. And um, let me know how you get on, if that's something you want to do as well. I'd be interested in finding out uh, how you get on. So once we have written our piece of code, we save it, we go down here to all files, um, we type in our file name followed by our file extension. Now the file extension we're going to use is .ahk. This is an auto hotkey, auto hotkey file, okay? So here on our desktop, as you can see, we have the auto hotkey icon. We double click on that, nothing happens. But down here in the bottom right hand corner, you can see that we have a little, little auto hotkey um, icon. That basically tells us that our script is running in the background, all right? No window popped open or anything like that, but we have our little icon here in the bottom right to tell us that our script is running. So now when we press the right control key, as you can see, all the programs we have running at that particular moment in time open up on screen. Now I only have two programs here, um, but when I'm working, when I'm multitasking, I might have, you know, seven, eight, nine different programs open. So this is quite useful when uh, in those kind of, you know, instances, right? So I use this quite a bit. What took two key presses previously now only takes a single key press. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Um, this is the end of the video. You can follow me on um, Instagram and you can give me some feedback. Give this a try and uh, let me know how you get on. 
You can subscribe to this YouTube channel as well if you like these kind of kinds of videos. I'm gonna do more of them here now. And um, yeah, that's essentially it. I'll uh, see you in the next video. Thanks.